Well, speaking of a great show worth watching, you may want to tune in on Visual Radio right now. We've got a couple of very special guests in the studio. Uh, there's a ton of do different dog breeds in the world, but our next couple are uh, pretty unique. They're not exactly the fluffy fellas you tend to see here on the island. Freeway and Theo are American hairless terriers, and they're here in the studio with their owner, Alan Giddick. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for bringing us in. Oh, yeah. There's a little bit of chaos. Is the dog? The dogs are very excited this morning. I, you're hearing one there now. <laughs> well, it was an early get, it was an early wake up for them. They're usually pretty uh, lazy in bed in the morning, so they're like, "What's going on?" So, that, you know what? It's interesting, Ellen. I've never seen dogs quite. I've seen hairless dogs pictures, but I've never seen this kind of hairless dog. I anyway, know I just jumped off you. He's coming to visit you, I think. <laughs> okay, good. All Tell right. me a little bit about the breed. Uh, well, the the breed itself, they're actually rat terriers, uh, which is like a Jack Russell Terrier or something along those lines. So. Uh, a breeder in uh, Louisiana had a uh, hairless rat terrier born, uh, like 1972, right. and uh, then began his own little breeding program, which he didn't necessarily have all that experience with. So uh, a couple of these hairless puppies ended up in the hands of uh, uh, more experienced dog breeders, those with experience with Chinese crested and other types of breeds, uh, one of which is uh, the breeder that we got all three of ours from, over a period of 20 years. So um, they started with the breed and they uh, began to uh, cross them with uh, coated rat terriers. So there's actually a version of the American hairless terrier with hair. Right. And uh, then... Uh, <laughs> you're, getting, you're getting kissed here I know, this morning. I'm, I'm, he, he gets tired <laughs> of hearing me talk. Uh, so anyway, and it's, uh, you know, for a breed that's only been around for really 45 years and to be accepted to the Westminster Dog Show, like this wow. is... a uh, a big accomplishment for those uh, people that we've been dealing with. Like we just, uh, we're not dog breeders. These are pets for us. Uh, you know, when a, when a show dog breeder has a dog, they don't necessarily want to continue a line with. Uh, they do spay neuter contracts and then they say, okay, listen, we're going to pet them out right. basically. So, so uh, the hard work of those two kennels uh, helped out the genetics of the breed and Eventually, they ended up turning into these guys, and uh, they'll be on TV this weekend. They're okay. So, so we're, very, we're not these guys. Well, they're on TV now, but not, not these yeah, guys. Right. But the breed themselves, this is the debut for the uh, big New York City Westminster Dog Show. So. Okay. I want to get to that in just a minute. But for people that aren't watching visual radio right now, just describe uh, <laughs> what these dogs look like. Uh, well, they're very similar to, uh, we call them like Jack Russell Terriers without hair. Mm -hmm. uh, they're a little bit taller. Uh, their legs are a little bit longer. Uh, as you can see, there, there's a fair bit of size difference. Uh, Freeway is older. He's nine. And uh, he's maybe, you know, 12 to 13 pounds. Uh, Theo here, who's five, thank you, is... Uh, <laughs> Still giving out kisses? Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and he's more along the lines of a uh, what you see today. They're a little bit larger. He's about uh, 18, 19 pounds. Yeah. And uh, they are completely hairless, uh, unlike the crested, which will have hair on their feet, oh. hair on their head. These guys are completely hairless. You can't see them because they're dressed. Oh, I guess they need those, here, those here, coats here, gonna, hey? He'll flash you a little bit. You can see. He's naked. It's just, he's naked belly. He's totally naked under there, so. <laughs> Same for this guy. But, uh, but, yeah, and as far as temperament's concerned, they're just, uh, they're very much like terriers. They're very playful, energetic. Uh, these guys tend to uh, release from playtime quite well. They get lazy. They're cuddlers. They're lap dogs. They have to sit on whoever happens to stop by the studio. so And they love people. As soon as they came in, they, they came racing in here for a big warm yeah. welcome. Absolutely. So, so. And so how are they with kids and all that kind of stuff? Uh, younger children, uh, like most terriers, like uh, little Yorkies can have attitudes, little Jack Russells can have attitudes. Right, right. These guys are no different as far as terriers are concerned. But, uh, uh, you know, the dogs themselves, you really do have to match, you know, personality of the dog to if you have a family situation or if you're not home a lot. Uh, these guys uh, are very energetic. Uh, they do alone quite well, actually. We leave the house in the morning, they couldn't care less. Right. Like, they just look at us and say, okay, well, you'll be back later. <laughs> but, uh, you know, but they tend to know it's weekend. If we leave on the weekend, they know that, and they chase oh, yeah. us out the door, right? So, so, so Alan, I want to get to this big news. So tell us a little bit about what's happening, uh, this television debut on the weekend. Well, it was. It started maybe about five or six years ago. Again, the hard work of those, uh, those uh, breeders and kennels that I mentioned to get the dog actually recognized. Now, there's lots of dog breeds much older than what are the American Hairless Terrier that are still waiting for this uh, recognition. It's the American Kennel Club, AKC. 
The Westminster Dog oh. Show, which was immortalized in the movie Best in Show, mm -hmm. is really the premier event for that American Kennel Club. So these guys are showing for the first time uh, as part of uh, their one of three different breeds. So uh, you may have seen them pop up, all sorts of different television, all sorts of different news, uh, saying here's one of the three new dog breeds. And we're like, oh, wait a second, we know those dogs. And because uh, our, uh, our, uh, our breeder is... Uh, is uh you know instrumental in uh making that happen wow uh, you know we're very happy for her and uh you know everything they've done with the breed themselves so but uh you, you might see them on tv you know like any other dog show they'll compete in breed they're in the they're in the terrier group so they'll compete amongst themselves for best in breed then they'll do best in group the best terrier and then maybe best in show but you know, that's a rather long shot but They'll get a fair bit of press over the weekend just because they're new. Yeah. So how do how do Freeway and Theo feel about all this? Uh, well, I don't think they really they know <laughs> that. The, well, they guys just staring at me. Look, <laughs> he's oh, he <laughs> loves you to death. You put him on the floor, he'll zip right over there. Oh, you come on over. Oh, yeah. Is that Theo or Freeway? That one's Freeway. Oh, come over, Freeway. Come up for a little cuddle, bye. I'm sure they need a little cuddle with no <laughs> oh, hair, yes. right? Come over, yeah. Freeway. So yeah. So how are they? Uh, I guess they don't really understand what's going on. Oh, look, he's getting up to... He's getting cozy here oh, in the, uh, in the host chair. This one's jealous now. No. Oh. Yeah. Do you see? I've never seen dogs like this before. They're well, stunning. That's, it's pretty common. We get reactions walking them from, hey. you know, uh, you know, do you shave them? Are they sick? You know, are they ill? We get that every once in a while. But uh, people are generally quite curious. Yeah. Uh, a hairless breed like a Crested is an example. Uh, they're not necessarily completely unfamiliar with them, but... Uh, any, you know, and, but it and, is new. And is there are there any unique like conditions because they're hairless or uh, anything well, they, you have to watch out for? They, they, well, they get cold, as you see they're dressed. Yeah, that's and, right. And uh, so they do get cold. Absolutely, that's the biggest one. Well, fair enough. Listen, Alan, it was and really great to meet you. <laughs> I, I could spend all day. We're running out of time here, but I appreciate you coming in this morning. Thanks and the doggies so much. too. I'm Thanks getting a little doggy us. cuddle. Uh, that was Alan Giddick and his two American hairless terriers, Freeway and Theo. Got one on my lap here, loving it. What do you think? Is this the dog breed? that you have been waiting to bypass those nasty allergies. Uh, they're soon to be the star of the show coming up this weekend, as you heard. Uh, what do you think? Let us know. Are you watching these cute dogs? 576-5259 or 1-866-576-5259.